How's going guys, welcome back to AppGeeker. If you're watching this video, the probable cause is that you are looking for some tips to regain access to your iPhone without knowing the passcode. Under the security protection of iPhone, no one can unlock the device if the passcode cannot be recalled. When your device got unavailable after receiving the incorrect passcode many times, basically you can try again a couple of minutes later, like 1 minute, 5 minutes, 15 minutes, or even 60 minutes. If you really can't recall the passcode, you can do nothing on the device but restore it to factory settings. Here in this video, we will show you how to reset your locked iPhone without Apple ID and password applying to all iPhones you may have right now. Let's find out! Option 1. Use iPhone Unlocker from AppGeeker. If you are in a situation where you don't even know what Apple ID and password is being used on your iPhone, it means that you are not allowed to unlock your device by using Erase iPhone and find my features requiring your Apple credentials. For this reason, a third-party tool called iPhone Unlocker from AppGeeker can rescue you in such a situation. With this tool, you can easily remove the unavailable screen along with the Apple account from your iPhone. All you need to do is plug your iPhone into a computer via a USB cable. You can get this app from appgeeker.com and the link is put below this video. Let's check it out. As you can see, here I've got iPhone Unlocker on my desktop. Let's run it. Click on Wipe Passcode Pane on the home screen, then click Start button to initiate the process. Follow the on-screen prompts, connect your iPhone to the software. In order to use this method, you need to activate your device into recovery mode. With this mode, you can connect your phone to the app and get it restored in a few easy clicks. Let's get started. For entering recovery mode, the button combination may be slightly different depending on the different iPhones you have. The following tells how to do this on various iPhone models. Suppose you have an iPhone 8 and newer model, plug your phone into the computer. Do a quick press on the volume up and volume down buttons one by one, then do a long press on the side button for around 20 to 30 seconds. When the recovery mode shows on the screen, you can release the button. Suppose you have an iPhone 7 and iPhone 7 Plus, connect the device to the computer. Keep holding the volume down and side buttons, the recovery mode screen won't appear instantly, you can release your fingers when the recovery mode icons come out. Suppose you have an iPhone 6S, an older model, plug it into the computer. Keep pressing the home button and side, or top, button, don't let go of the buttons until you see the recovery mode screen. Once entered recovery mode, your iPhone can be recognized by the computer. The app's interface will automatically skip to the next page. Now you need to check the detailed information of the device in the drop-down menu. Once done, click Start button. At this time, iPhone Unlocker will download an appropriate iOS firmware package for your unavailable device, which is for unlocking the screen passcode. It may take a long time to download it, please just keep patient. With the download finishes, enter 0000 in the pop-up window and click the Unlock button near the text box. Afterward, iPhone Unlocker will unlock the device automatically, the Apple ID and password will be taken away as well. This should not take too long. Once the unavailable screen is removed, your iPhone is reset now and you can use another Apple ID account. Swipe up and start to set up your new iPhone. One thing you need to keep in mind is that the data on your original Apple ID cannot be recovered on the backup screen unless you recall the password. Option 2. Use iTunes slash Finder. If you have iTunes installed on your computer, it can be used to reset your device. Now let's start the steps to reset your device using this program. Before you do this, your computer should meet these requirements I mentioned below. 1. This method requires you to have access to a computer with the newest version of iTunes installed on it. 2. 
If you are using a PC with Windows 10 and later or using a Mac with macOS Catalina 10.14 and earlier, you should use iTunes. 3. If you are using a Mac with macOS Catalina 10.15 and later, you should run Finder. Before you open the app, you need to force the device into recovery mode. You can check the way how to enter the recovery mode we mentioned before. After that, launch iTunes or Finder on your computer. Click Restore button when you see a message prompting on the screen asking you either to update or restore the locked device. Select Restore button. Select Restore and Update so you can remove the unavailable screen after it gets restored. Next, iTunes will start to download the iOS software for your iPhone. This process may take some minutes, but once the download time is more than 15 minutes, your iPhone will exit from recovery mode and the download progress will stop temporarily. Once downloaded, what you need to do is waiting it accomplishes the restore. Once the restore is complete, set the phone up and use it again. As we mentioned previously, the data cannot be retrieved if you haven't created a backup. In today's video, we share with you two options to reset your locked iPhone iPhone unlocker from AppGeeker and iTunes, choose one you prefer. Hopefully this tutorial can help you, if it does, give us a thumb up and subscribe to us, see you next time.